Welcome to game number 28 of the 1968 Bob Gibson replay. He is coming off a nice performance against the same Pittsburgh Pirates in St. Louis. And uh, today he travels to the St. Louis, with the St. Louis Cardinals to Forbes Field to face Bob Veal and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Stats are displayed. Um, a nice win for Gibson after some real frustrating um, late inning meltdowns a um, few games prior to that. So uh, let's see what we got here as we uh, have the Pirates Cardinals at Forbes Field. Leading off will be left-hander Lou Brock. 2-6. Hit by pitch, 7-3, minus 7, nothing there. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of coffee here. Go to the batter's card. 2-1. That's a ground out to the, oh, excuse me, star six. That's a fly out to right field. Let me get those ratings in there. Okay, all set to go now. Julian Javier, the right-handed hitting second baseman. 4-1, walk chance, 9, versus a left-handed pitcher is a 9, so he walks. Kurt Flood. Three five ballpark. Three four. That's a single pass to third baseman. Let's check the runner advancement chart. And only a six will go from uh, first to third. Makes sense. Cepeda, runners on first and second, one out. 6-1, K-chance, 12, versus a lefty, 11, minus one's a 10, so we go to hitter's card. 1-6, oh, 20, so he flies out to right field, just misses the home run. See if we get the runner advancing. Runner on second, less than two outs. F9, just check the BR rating. It's Javier's. He's a four. Right fielder's a zero. And he goes over to third. Runners on first and third, two outs for Mike Shannon. 2 1, he's a righty, that's a blank. 5 5, that's a single past the second baseman, so key hit for Mike Shannon. And uh, if Flood is a three to six, which he's a four. He goes to third. Okay, so we got first and third, two outs for Tim McCarver. Let's see what Tim can do here. Six one K chance versus a lefty. Seventeen nothing there. Hitter's card. Four five grounds out to short. So one run here for the. Cardinals in the top of the first. Bob Gibson take the mound against Patek. Wills and Alou. 6-3. Walk chance. 3 versus a righty. He's a 7. He walks. Patek will see if he can get the lead. 2. He does. 14 minus one's a 13. The catcher, McCarver's a zero. Three, steals second. 
We got a runner on second, no outs for Maury Wills. Three six. He's a switch, so he's batting lefty. That's blank. Four three. Ground out to short. And we'll check the advancement on that. Hotex BR rating is a five, so six, he does not go to third. He stays at second. That brings up Matty Alou. That could be key. Six, four, that's a K chance, 15. Alou has batting 332 and a very good eye. We go to his card, 3-2. That's a single pass to first baseman. Let's see if Patek scores. He does on a 1-6. So nice hit right up the middle for Alou. Willie Stargell. 5-2. Possible error. 5-3, double asterisk 1. That's a fly out to center field. And Don Clendenin, who struck out, I believe, four times his last time facing Gibson. 1-1, one, one. that's a ballpark. 4-5, that's a single to left field. And we will see the left fielder's arm is a 0. So... The BR rating of Clendenin is a three. Left fielder is a zero. Five. So he does not advance. Alou. Lou will go to, let's see if he advances at all. Let's, see. let's stay at second. So we got first and second, two outs, Manny Moda. 4-4, four, four, the dangerous 4-4. Four, four. Moda only has one home run. One clears that. Eh. He's got a zero versus righties. We're rolling out. He's one. He just misses it. Let's go to Moda's card. 6 2. That's a pop up to the shortstop. Could have been dangerous. Okay, either way, the Pirates have an active bottom of the first, and they score one run. Bob Veal now back to a tie ball game here, facing Davis. Maxville and Gibson, 1-4, range play, 6-2, double asterisk, 6, that's a fly ball out to right field, let's see if Moda can make the play, he's a 2, he does, Dale Maxville, 6-5, K-chance, 5 versus a lefty, Struck him out. Gibson. Four six K chance struck him out. So Beal has a clean top of the second. He'll be up against Ali Conazero and Beal. Focus in place. Three six. He's a righty. That's an out. Double asterisk. Five. Fly out to left field. Chris Canazaro. Today's catcher for the Pirates. Three six. He's a righty. That's an out. Double asterisk. Three. That's a ground out to the third baseman. Shannon makes the play. And Bob Beal. 4-5. He's a switch hitter, so he'll be batting lefty. That means you go to Beal's card. 
I never saw K chance on a never saw K on a I guess he just K's, right? <laughs> so he's a 40 anyways. Look at that. All right, let's say he K's. I can safely say that he did. Well, I wanted to take a quick look at uh, Veal. He had 86 plate appearances in 1968 with 53 strikeouts. So uh, that's why the card is what it is. We have, who do we have here? Lou Brock. 3-2. K chance. 5. Lefty struck him out. Julian Javier, 6-1, another K chance, 5. First a lefty, that brings it down to a 4, go to the hitter's card. 6-5. Hop out to the second baseman. Kirk Flood. 5-1, potential error on a grounder. 5-3, double asterisk 6. That's a fly out to right field, so no error check. One to one here, bottom of the third. Top of the order for the Pirates. 5-3. 20. Is Patek Bats righty? It's considered a blank. You go to Patek's card. Four, five. That looks like a hit. Three to right field. That's a single to right field for Patek. He's going to try to steal again. Four, he gets the lead. Four, and he gets the stolen base. So we got a runner on second. No outs. For Maury Wills. 2 6 K chance. Look at Gibson. Struck him out. Going up against Matty Alou. As we know, he bats, batted 332 in 1968. 5 5 K chance. 9. Nothing there. Hitter's card. 2 5. That's a single past the third baseman. Five to six will go home, and I think Patek's a five. Patek is a five, so that's an RBI single. Willie Stargell. Uh, we know what four four means. Oh, Jesus. Eleven. One to sixteen. Stargell one to twenty. Might as well roll it seven. That's gone. Two run homer for Willie Stargell. That's four four. Jesus. Four to one Pirates. The Forbes Field fans are excited here. Mundenen five two possible error. 3 6, that's a double asterisk 1. That's a fly up to center field. Manny Moda. 5 1, possible hit by pitch. 3. Nope, doesn't get that. batter's card. 3-5. A double asterisk 4. It's a ground out to short. So three run homer by Willie Stargell. Makes it 4-1. Wow. Cepeda. 
Shannon and McCarver against left-hander Bob Beal. 4-4, four, four, possible throwing error. 6-1, that's a single left. Mike Shannon. Get a nice single, his uh, previous at-bat, drove in a run. Three five, that's a ballpark. Four five, that's a single to left. Let's see if he stretches it into a double. The left fielder's arm is a minus one. Cepeda, oh no, Shannon is a three. So that's a two. Nope. So he stays there. Cepeda stays at second. McCarver the batter. I'm going to try on a, a left hit to left field to go to third. So Cepeda will stay there. Five four possible K chance seven versus the lefty that clears. 5-5, five, five, double asterisk 5, that's a fly out to center. Let's see if Ron Davis can come through. One, two, walk versus the lefty is an 8. 3-3, three, three, ground out to third. Let's see if we get a double play. Second baseman's a zero, two, three. He doesn't make it. Let me just check one thing. Okay, so out was made at first, second, and third. Down Maxville, two outs. Five, two. That's a double asterisk. So it's a 20 versus a right handed batter. So we got nothing there. We'll move on to Maxwell's card. 1 3, pop out to second. This St. Louis office can, offense cannot come through for Gibson. He will face Ali Canazaro. And Bob Beal. 4-3, walk, 1. That's a walk. Nazaro, 5-2, possible error, 3-4, fly out to right, the right fielder's a 6, a 9, so it's no error, Bob Veal, 4-3, possible walk chance, 5, nothing there, 2-6, struck him out. Freddie Patek. Two runs scored today by Patek. 3 4, 14. Going to get the strikeout. 6 4. Single past the first baseman. Alley will go to third with two outs and based on the runner advancement charts. We've got first and third. Two outs for Maury Wills. 4-3, almost had that 4-4 four, four again, but not that it would matter with Wills. 4-3, walk chance, 2, he walks. Bases loaded for Matty Alou. Gibson in trouble again. Five one hit by pitch, 11. So, failed hit by pitch there. Go to the batter's card. 
six one. That's an out. Double asterisk six. He flies out to right. So Gibson escapes. Four to one. Bob Field pitching a great game. Gibson, Brock, and Javier. Three, four, K chance, 10 versus lefty. Struck him out. I think Beal had a 2.05 ERA in 1968. So, six, four, no slouch. Go to hitter's card. Two, three, fly out to right. Julian Javier. Three, one, K chance versus lefty. Not nothing there. Five, six. Double asterisk one. That's a ground out to third, second. Gibson will be facing Stargell, Clendenin, and Moda. Stargell hit that monstrous home run there in the bottom of the third. 3-3, three, three, possible throwing error. 6-1, that's a double to left field. Stargell on fire today. Clendenin. 2-4. Walk chance. 5 versus a righty. That's Clendenin walks. We got first and second. No outs. Okay, so we got first and second. No outs. Clen uh, Manny Moda. 4-5. We just missed that 4-4. Four, four. He's a righty. K+. Plus. Add 10, 15, minus 1 is 14, 16, so it makes it the hitter's card. 4, 5, G1. Okay. Let's see if we get a double play here. Two zero. So a two would be a double play. Six, now the plays to first. So one to three. Second and third, one out. We're gonna bring the infield in for Gene Alley. Three, three, possible throwing error. Five, six. A line out to third. They could use that. Canizero. 6 1, K chance, 9. Gibson strikes him out and gets out of the inning. Kirk Flood, Cepeda, and Mike Shannon. 6-3, range play at the ballpark. 2-2, two, two, single pass to first baseman, unless the first baseman can get it. Lundenon's a 5. He gets it. Takes away the... Takes it away. Orlando Cepeda. One four, another range play. Three six, pop out to the second baseman unless he can't get it. That is Alley. He makes the play.
Mike Shannon. 5-3, K chance, 10 versus a lefty, struck him out. How about Bob Veal today? Look at all those K. Oops, that's kind of zero. Look at all those K's on this card. I never see that. Five four K. He's a forty, so he strikes him out. Freddie Poptek. One two. He's a righty K plus. Struck him out. Maury Wills. Six five. That's a range play. Four, six, pop out to the shortstop unless he can't get it. Maxville cannot get it. So we got a failed range. Wills is going to try to steal. Ten, does not get the lead. Matty Alou. Six three walk chance thirteen no walk three three ground out to the first baseman Cepeda makes the play we move on to the seventh with a four one game Veal pitching pitching great today gave up that run in the first he's been great since five two. It's a three, that's an out. Two, that's a ground out to the shortstop. Ron Davis. Six, six, walk plus chance. Three, he walks Ron Davis. Dale Maxville. Three, three, there's a home run chance. Two versus a righty, so that clears that. One to five, it's a home run for Maxville. Seven, cannot get it. Ugh. The Cardinals could have used that. That was exciting. Four, three, flies out to right. Gibson's going to stay in. That's what we're here for. 4 1, walk chance, 13. He doesn't walk. 1 4, fly out to left. Stargell, Clendenin, and Moda. Two six K chance, thirteen strikes them out. Now well, I get Stargell out. Clendenin. Four. There's that four four. Clendenin is a right-handed batter, so nine. So. Luckily, there won't be anything on that. But we do go to Clendenin's card. 5 4 double asterisk sick. He flies out to the right. Manny Moda. 4 3 walk chance. 8 does not walk. 4-2, double asterisk sick, he flies out to right. Well, we got six more outs left for the Cardinals here against Bob Veal, who's pitching a wonderful game. Top of the order. 
Veal had 2.05 ERA in 68. 1-5, lefty K plus, 17, struck him out. Three two K chance five seven nothing there. Javier double extra five he flies out to center. Kirk Flood five five that's blank. Five six double extra five he flies out to center. How about Bob Beal? Four to one. It's three outs away from a four to one victory unless Pittsburgh scores more here. Gene Alley. Three five, that's an out. Two, that's a ground out to second. Canazaro. 5-1 hit by pitch. Nothing there. Six two ground out to first excuse me to the pitcher. Veal's gonna stay in. Three strikeouts so far today for Veal. Two one. He's a switcher, so blank sell. Go to his card. Three four. That's a single for Bob Veal. Pass the second baseman. Brady Pottek. 6 2 righty, K plus 16. Struck out Pottek. If Veal can get these three outs, it's over. Cepeda, Shannon, let's see if he's fatigued, but Jesus, you got to keep him in there. He's fatigued, but Veal, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to hit the bullpen. Bob Veal pitched a great eight innings. Forbes Field crowd gives him a nice ovation. They're going to bring in Ron Klein, 1.680 RA. Against Cepeda, Shannon, 6-4 versus a righty. That's an out. Two, that's a fly out to center field. Mike Shannon, 3-1. Possible hit by pitch, two, nothing on there. So on all failed hit by pitches, go to the batter's card. 6-6 six, six versus a righty. That's a fly out to center field. I think we kept Bob Beal in there. That would have been a double. Tim McCarver. 6-3 possible wild pitch. Nothing there. Why would they even show that? Either way, we'll move on to the hitter's card. Three, four, that's a ground out to third. Well, unfortunately, Gibson couldn't get it done today. That homer by Stargell was a killer. He pitched eight, gave up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. One home run, four earned runs. That home run was tough. One, two, three, four, four walks, strikeouts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strikeouts. Tough loss for Gibson.
His record now goes to 13 and 11. I mean, he's getting no run support. No run support. Um, it, it makes it tough for him. He, you know, he, he has, if, if he gives up a home run or something like that. And I mean, he did get up 11 in 1968. And so far through the replay, he's given up nine. And he has six starts left. So that's, that's but it, the Cardinals have to score. So, uh, thanks for joining. We will see you at game 29 where they travel to Cincinnati and play the Cincinnati Reds.